Good day, welcome for a new presentation in Eason Different Radiology. Today, our appointment number nine. Uh, today, I want to talk about the diagnosis and differential diagnosis of colitis. Uh, my presentation today is uh, will be uh, first because I will mention on only the differential diagnosis and how can you remember this differential diagnosis of the colitis. Learning objective for my presentation today. The first uh, part from my presentation, I will talk about the definitions of the most classic sign for describing the colitis, which is called the thumb printing. Uh, these signs in the abdomen X-ray. And the next part, I will talk about the mnemonic words, which you can remember through it, the differential diagnosis of the colitis in abdominal X-ray or even in the CT. So my presentations or the main issue from my presentation today is I will talk about this thumb printing, this description. If you look at this abdominal X-rays, you can find this thumb printing which appeared here uh, in the transverse colon. And this thumb printing uh, is occurs due to the thickening of the large bowel hysterations that project into the gas filled lumen. So these hysterations when uh, thickened and uh, appearing depressed inside the gas field lumens, which meaning the colon. So appearing as the sun printing sign. And this sun printing signs when I describe it or when I recognize it in the abdominal X-ray, this is a sign for the colitis. And now we will talk about the second part from my presentations. What is the meaning of colitis or what is the meaning of this sun printing or differential diagnosis? So as I described before, some printing on abdomen X-ray, some printing occurs due to the thickening of the large bowel hysterations that project into the gas filled lumen. Some printing is considered the classic sign for diagnosis of any type of colitis, as I'll mentioned now in my differential diagnosis. Again, is this another image of the sun printing? Look at the hysterical pattern when thickened and projecting inside the lumen of the colons causing uh, decreased uh, diameters of the or the caliber and also these projections which representing the thickening is due to some printing or due to colitis so now with the second part from my presentation after we diagnose the some printing or after we recognize it in the axr I can remember the causes through this word, INR. INR, I is the main part from the differential diagnosis. I refer to inflammation or inflammatory cause. I refer to infection cause and ischemic cause. So this is the main three common causes for the colitis, which is starting by the letter I. N refer to neoplastic and N also due to neutropenic or deflitis and the R due to radiation. So this is the main cause which can causing the colitis according to the patient history, according to the site of the colitis, I can recognize the differential diagnosis one from these uh, six. The most common three is inflammatory infections and ischemia and inflammatory like Crohn's disease. For example, the most common site of Crohn's disease is the ileocecal valve after that, skip lesions in the colon can be described as a colitis. Ulcerative colitis is another inflammatory cause. For example, the ulcerative colitis should be uh, started in the rectum so without skipping uh, and the continuous lesions until reaching to the ileum. It can cause, it can be distributed over the ileum also, which is called the backwash ileitis. Crohn's and ulcerative colitis are associated with uh, uh, sacroiliitis sometimes and also with a specific diagnosis for each one. Infection cause is this uh, pseudomembranous colitis. Uh, this is uh, uh, due to the uh, Clostridium difficile organism and the Clostridium difficile organism uh, uh, is one from the causes of the colitis or the thumb printing and this is also can be considered due to infectious cause. Ischemic cause is uh, due to ischemia 
and occurs in the watershed areas these areas at the uh, uh, junctions between the supply of the superior and inferior mesenteric artery so it appeared as a splenic flexure if we have areas in the splenic flexures with some printing we can consider ischemic cause uh, 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 and searching for the, uh, that and confirming it by another uh, uh, factors or another finding in the film neoplastic cause uh, uh, most uh, uh, one uh, important is the lymphoma metastasis and adenocarcinoma can cause also sickening of the wool over the lymphoma this is which can be make the characteristic feature of some printing uh, and can be entered in the differential diagnosis the lower line is less likely common than the upper uh, lines uh, the causes of the colitis or some printing neutropenic uh, co or colitis or tiflitis this is occur at ascending colon and involving this part from the colon uh, in patient with immune compromised patient so those patients which have uh, radiotherapy due to any cause or which have any uh, cause of immune compromised can occur uh, some printing at that area ascending colon and it is called as the neutropenic colitis or tiflitic or tiflitic colitis radiation also as a can consider as a cause according to the history of radiations at the prostate for example or uh, cervical cancer uh, any radiations at the pelvis can cause some printing and some printing in due to radiations occur at the rectosigmoid area so as we described the area affected is a cause uh, can be uh, differ and can be according to the site of the lesions also uh, can be discriminating the cause of the sun printing this is another example of abdominal x-rays which is showing some printing due to sickening of the hystra and uh, uh, projecting into the colon uh, this area is some printing this area is some printing so that is a some printing as I mentioned before some printing can considered as a classic sign for diagnosis of any type of colitis which you mentioned in the previous slides at the end of my presentations I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about that some printing and also the mnemonic word which you can remember the cause of some printing according to the site of the lesion and according to the uh, cause uh, can describe the differential diagnosis. Thank you very much and have a nice day.